What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So I missed this past Wednesday because I ran into some issues, man. Come to find out, um, I needed a few more parts, man. Yep. So I think the rod bearings that I installed were not the right ones. I'm not even gonna get into it. Just know I got the right parts on the way. Even though I know you guys saw me torque them down. I rechecked them. I didn't like the clearance, so I ordered some new ones. So long story short, we back at the crib. You know what I'm saying? So in the meantime, in between time, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this thing will focus. But um I do have to pull my old motor out. Um, I need tons of parts off of it. I mean, I need to. I have a brand new timing belt, water pump, um, tensioner, manual tensioner, the intake manifold. There's a lot of stuff on this motor that I need. Of course, the trans. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is instead of taking space at my shop, I'm going to pull the motor here, take the motor to the shop, disassemble this one, take all the parts I need off. By the time I do that, the new rod bearing should be in. We'll get those thrown in, torque back down, and yeah, we'll be golden. So yeah, take a walk with your boy. So I pretty much already, I didn't want to, I already have tons of content on pulling the motor and blah, blah, blah. Um, But I went ahead, took the suspension apart, pulled the axles, um, got the bumper off, and I already got the turbo kit pulled off. It's in here, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Mike once again. He built that uh, awesome intake manifold or intake manifold. I'm tripping. He fabbed up this crazy turbo manifold, and that thing still looks good, man. I want to get it coated, not sure if I'm gonna have time to with the deadline I have. But yeah, got all my turbo stuff in here. And I'm not going to bore you guys with the ins and outs of pulling this motor out. I'm just going to pull it. And then I don't know where this video is going to lead, but we're going to see. So, obviously, I'm back at the shop, you know what I'm saying, aka MR Dips. Uh, so, obviously, so I pulled the motor. Um, I got it here at the shop. Um, there's a lot of new parts that I put on this motor. Uh, for instance, the timing belt, water pump, um, a few other things. Obviously, I needed the intake manifold, the valve cover, all that stuff, distributor. I needed a lot of stuff off this motor, long story short. All right. <clears throat> So sorry if, if it's a little shaky. Um, I left my camera at the house, but I definitely wanted to get some footage for you guys. <coughs> Long story short, we about to paint this joint, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And if you can use the information to paint your own motor, then so be it, you know what I'm saying? So right now I just have the, I'm only gonna do the front and a portion of the side. So I'm gonna do the entire front, and I'm also gonna do uh, everything that's aluminum right here. It's all going black. Everything else is gonna stay. So this valve cover, um, <clears throat> I'm not using this valve cover. 
so I'm not gonna mask it off. I just wanted to protect the cams and stuff, the in internal stuff. So that's being left alone, I'm not masking this off. And I'll show you what I got. So and no, I'm not I'm not really advertising. I'm just gonna kind of show you what I'm using. And I've used this before, so I know it works. Um, but I think the most common issue that people have when it comes to actually um, painting their block is they don't use primer. Primer is really important. Um, it's gonna make the, the paint stick um, as much as possible. The other thing is um, you're gonna need to actually clean your block. I would suggest, I would start off, especially if it's dirty, um, I would start off with probably some, um, some brake cleaner. Uh, get you a brush and do like a, a round or two with the brake cleaner and then follow that up with some purple power. I personally wouldn't use engine degreaser. It gets real messy and kind of leaves like an oily residue. I wouldn't use that. I would just stick with the brake cleaner and some purple power. Uh, fortunately, um, my block was jet washed as well as the head. So it's already clean. I just need a primer and go. So I'm gonna move this engine stand into my booth, turn the lights on, and then we'll get right to it. All right, so hopefully you can see me uh, pretty clearly, or I'm in frame at least. Um, so I'm in the booth. Those of you who don't know, yes, I have a shop. Yes, I do dips. That's why my name is Trey B. Dipping. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I ain't dipping right now. I'm gonna actually use paint, uh, which is very rare. So like I said, um, Obviously, you're not gonna see me cleaning or degreasing the block or anything like that because like I said earlier, everything's already clean, pretty much essentially ready to go. But if you're watching this as kind of like a tutorial on how you would you know, paint your block or your motor, um, that's the first step. You're gonna wanna clean it thoroughly and we're gonna get the primer, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna set the camera up. Oh, second thing is when you're doing this, if you're gonna be doing it inside, I always recommend safety first, man. Get You don't have to get a full mask, but at least get a respirator. Protect your lungs, man. Um, if you're doing it outside, you may not need it as much, but I still would just kind of as like a insurance policy, you know what I mean? Um, better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna set the camera up, and yeah, we gonna get, get, get it popping, you know what I'm saying? Trey be painting today, baby. Hey, so there you have it, man. Uh, that's how I paint my block. I painted my block about three or four times. Not this same one, but I painted a block about three or four times. And that's how I get the result that I was trying to get. Um, nice, no chipping. The primer definitely helps it uh, adhere a lot more. Um, I know a lot of people feel a certain type of way about painting their uh, block black because you can't see like the oil leaks and stuff like that but um black you know what i'm saying 
black's what I want, man. It goes with the, the, the theme of my engine bay. And I did aluminum before. It did look very, very clean. But um, black just fits the theme of my engine bay. Uh, it completes it. So that's what I wanted. Um, but yeah, man. There it is. And the block is done. And my trans is already black. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Um, I may or may not throw like a, if this thing will focus, I may or may not put a fresh coat um, of black on the trans. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I, I, think I am. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, man. So if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you new, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you.